Good afternoon, Rich Nass, Embedded Computing Design. I am in the Trust and Soft booth in Embedded World. We're in Hall 4-330. Is that right? Did I get the booth right? I think so, yeah. Okay. This is Caroline Guillaume. She is the CEO of Trust and Soft. How are you doing? Good. And you? I'm doing great, thank you. So I had a whole list of questions I was going to ask you, and I'm not going to ask you those because I saw that. Okay. Zero bug software. That is not possible. Okay. I'm going to ask you, why isn't it possible? Why, why wouldn't it be possible? Because we're looking at thousands and thousands and thousands, in some cases millions of lines of code. It is not possible to not have a bug in millions of lines of code. Ah, well, you can start with a subset of the lines of code and show there is no bug and go there. But that would take years. Not necessarily, if you have the right tools and the right technology, and you use innovative ways of doing so. And a lot of that comes from the use of open source. So let's get into open source a little bit. In a lot of cases, you don't even know where the code is coming from when it's open source. How can you guarantee that it's bug free? Well, when you deliver a system, you need to have, you may have open source or you have your own source code. Uh, we don't really care as long as we have the source code to work on, whether this is open source or your own code, um, the tool is going to work the same way. Um, and it's going to enable to prove the absence of errors. And that's why we, um, with the level of zero false negative and the promise of zero bug software, and we can explain how we do that. Okay, you said the tool. What is yes. the tool? So Trust in Soft is a tool provider, a software code uh, mm -hmm. analysis tool provider called Trust in Soft Analyzer. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, false in the static code analyzer category um, uh, because we don't actually run, execute the code, uh, but we're very specific and I'm going to lead on why uh, zero bug. The first thing is we use formal methods, we use math, and the objective is to prove the absence of errors, which offers a level of uh, guarantee of cybersecurity safety, which goes beyond the normal error detection. Of course, we're going to detect error on the way, but right. we go to the point where we prove there is nothing left as an error. Uh, the other things which is specific about uh, Trust in Soft is we, the tool keeps the full context sensitivity. What it means is it's, when it's going to analyze uh, the code, it's going to be keep in memory the exact execution context along all the program steps. So we're not basing our checks on a heuristic, we're actually having the full context and the values of each variable along all the function calls. And you combine math, formal methods, mm -hmm. and this full context sensitivity, and you make what's called a sound, static analyzers. So what does it sound mean? It means there, it's not allowed to miss any bug. There is zero false negative. If you have zero false negative, you can get to zero bug. Boy, you sure make it sound simple. Yeah. The other thing is when you do that, you're super accurate. And if you're super accurate, every error you raised are actually going to be worthwhile looking at. So we're mindful of the time, energy, and effort of developers and testers using our tool. The errors we bring and raise are, are errors that matter they're going to have consequences when the code is executed. And the second thing is uh, they're real errors. They need to look at them and it will prevent them from having to spend time going through a long list of uh, erroneous warnings, basically. So okay. you can get to zero. Points. Okay, I'll take your word for it for now. I'm not done with you yet though. Okay. Okay. Um, there's constant change in, in terms of certification standards, now we have the governments getting involved. How do you keep up with all that? Or how, or how do your customers keep up with all that? Okay, so yes, um, there is uh, more and more software. There are uh, growing requirements in terms of uh, software quality. And the combination of those means that um, testing is increasingly an important and time consuming activity. Um, so. Going back to your government requirements, there is the uh, Cyber Resilience Act in Europe, there is the executive order in the US, and those are examples on 
um, increased requirements on cybersecurity. Um, in the same trend, um, in a recent publication, the White House, by the White House, the ONCD, mm -hmm. published, um, uh, I mean, highlights the importance of ensuring the absence of memory-related vulnerabilities. All I right. mention that because this is a very good um, example of errors which are subtle, difficult to detect, may occur only in very specific production conditions, sometimes lay dormant and appear on the field, mm -hmm. and that are overlooked by traditional testing methodologies. And typically a tool which is sound, like us, can identify those errors uh, to the point where they can prove the absence of errors. Uh, solving, uh, I think the, the, the publication is saying that 70% of vulnerabilities are linked to those memory-related issues. That's it, you've addressed 70% of the critical vulnerabilities in your code. Very good. If you want to learn how to have zero bugs in your software, come to Trust and Soft. Ask for Caroline. They're in Hall 4, Booth 330.